Dem Lionel Henry Misha Tashtel America has Norahana met her fubble in a honey go hard to hand age Atlanta Savannah Dive. I guess Rugger here, no, the Bonier here, a mach er illoni via the macho host to do now in his freak of Adam the Night. I guess few dinner in the mask, the Rugger A, Erin Ilansha. <laughs> the, the Atlantis Commune, they were in the house in Burton Port, besides Burton Port Gallery Station, that would be in the Burton Port area, and they were run by Ginny, Ginny James. I've been told, hey, shut up, you lot, will you shut up, go away, go and do some work, right? They left there and they went to Inish Free, about a year or two after I came to Dunlow, and they bought up property on the island, they had three houses there, and she was head of the, as they call them, the Screamers on Inish Free Island. She had a daughter with her too called Rebecca, who had a child on the island from a local fella. You know, if we really understood better how we are with our children, that generally we would um, be much more careful about having kids if we were very conscious of the effect it has on the next generation. So Hinnele has to go Magoni Dolle, Truska the Anilon, Dirach come Tishkin to all, er Kadri Tape here though, no Hem for Rahrikshir, though Ilan in Vyog Ernach, Gadi Duffer in the Hamazoina. Hanneken could just mock us, you know, Sassan Yagas or Tirele. You know, being cash in the yet, we look at the other thing yet, because we should age you, the fool, down in the eggsel, but you're going to great news for Jerry, because Roddy Machine, be sealed a cushion, be for him, but you're still in the fool, now we are going to more than yet, you will. Well, you never know what goes on in the commune, you know, because they run it among themselves and they do not, one doesn't tell from the other. If anyone goes in there talking about something, they won't be long kept there. So you really don't know what goes on in it, you know. There were um, Kera Tarki and Estra alternative lifestyles on Balachella. So, Rinne me Tere, I was in some Hokrebe Balachella, Jack Ella Eron Plan. So, Hulme Fui and the Screamers, who's a Tirkunna, like a school, my Stoos, who have a Casman of Jenny James, Ban on Tishkinuk, Young on the Maras, Tishkinu, Casman Lea Reeve. I guess we in Ian Jassiki, Becky. I only when I was younger, I didn't have any sisters or brothers or didn't go to school you know, for a long time. So I'd spend a lot of time on my own. And when you're young, I suppose you must Well actually all my memories of living on the island were always really nice because there's no um, no cars here and no roads. So we had a lot of freedom really. I mean you used to be able to walk between cottage in bare feet in the summer without glass or rubbish or anything around. And this beach here, we would have spent, you know, days down here playing and we kept donkeys and horses and it was lovely. I guess, uh, I guess, we could have gone, you know, ever more than you on. We could have gone, you swear, and you swear, and you swear, and you better than you on. It's not a nach ertach in his freach of a nice fuider, oh, on sort sail a vi ounce of holoma. I can get on kerne, ta ruddy garev monagain, the gandout, on sail a clachter than so, I guess, own, via their denivier of marachtant in temple of crua. Dear of mar. Uh, on sale of war, a clachty gach eam illanach in Aaron, you know, a leamy de peg, known a camposino, sus in shaita, America has. Sometimes we would challenge ourselves as to see how much food we could actually produce without buying any food from the mainland. And uh, we ate very well. <laughs> So 
So um, this area would have been a nice big greenhouse from the wall down there, right up to here. And here we would have grown tomatoes and we would have started small plants ready to go in the garden, which behind you would have been a huge area over there, the beautiful gardens. And um, this would have been a lovely place for sitting and it, it kept the cottages very warm and a place for the young kids to play when they were growing up. People have this impression that, you know, we sit around screaming all day. I mean, you ever tried screaming more than a minute, right? It simply didn't happen like that. I'm, I'm beautiful, you can see me. I'm absolutely beautiful. I've got beautiful black hair. Generally, our community would be about sparkling eyes. I'm beautiful. Being I completely can... yourself and finding a way to be happy with that. And if you, there's things you're not happy about, to get help with friends to overcome difficulties or pain or hurt in your life. So we would live our lives and provide really an atmosphere where it's safe to actually, I suppose, bear your heart a bit and talk about and express things that are difficult. And the good side is that if you can overcome things, it does open up your life. The Uncorus Bunny er Wilhelm Reich, Agus Repression, Agus Squilamacher Bokadi, Ohev, Vishi Capgro Kulagun Roduntus Jack, you know, Agus Vishi Eri Gomartini Nis Uskulta, Agus and Ten Balak Capshishin Gurf Feder Dini all. Ask her if she's got any problems that you could help her with. There problems I can help you with. With anybody yeah. in particular? There's some in this room I'm angry with, isn't there? Couldn't be Becky. Becky, Becky, Who do you have a problem with? Come on, who do you have a problem with? My fucking mother has a... I guess false need me on. Brahnuer and Gutteshin can film Ganve Cori at Brahnueri. I can laugh their gun. Just you score a camera Oh, yes, I've done that to people too. So, the Higame, Kak will just tell me, need me so Kishte Eshin Hishkent, Darir. Just Vishi, we near Rinmeskan and Reeve, a Korosjakum Oshin or Very special girl. I'm better than any of When the Bob Quinn documentary was made, I was about 15 and um, certain circumstances around my own life at the time, I'd had a, quite a big clash with my mum and um, I actually went away for a year, I think, or maybe not that long. Um, I suppose like most teenagers, it was testing out my boundaries with my mum. You know, when I was 20, my mum had more kids and I suddenly looked at this mother who was relaxed and she had time and she'd sit around and cuddle them and I was like, God, she didn't used to do that with me. <laughs> Mum, in her 20s, um, one of her best friends committed suicide, um, which presented my mum with the, you know, which way do you go? Do you sort of kill yourself as well? Or do you do something and deal with the problems of why people would commit suicide? And she started having therapy herself in her early 20s and that led her on then to set up a whole um, centre in London called PMP, which is People Not Psychiatry, and deal with emotional problems without being drugged. If there's any tension going on, it's, uh, we've developed antennae and we just we sense it a mile off. And we explode, we explode situations all the time. It's she was also very political. And she realised that to just deal with politics and the problems of the nuclear situation and all things in the world wasn't enough. So she wanted to bring it back to real basics of like, why as human beings are we so destructive? And to try and deal with that in each person, which is not easy. Do you understand that? Tell it to all those men! Tell it to all the men! Tell it to all the men! Well, the people didn't like them around the area, you know. They felt that they were bringing some of their own people to join up with them and visit them and they were afraid they would go off into this um, free love situation that they had established with the Screamers. 
There would have been people who had relationships with all the people within the community at various stages. But I think you'd find that in any village, actually. <laughs> uh, I think there's more relationships go on in villages than, than people realise or that is allowed to be spoken. We've often said that our community was like a mirror. If you walk through our doors and you have an issue, that is normally what will happen to you. You know, for, sorry, for, for the Irish average Catholic, sex would be the issue. So for them, it's like, oh my God, there's women and there's sex happening everywhere. And they would just think that's all we do. Um, of course, when it's your home and it's your family, the story is very different. For some people, it'd be like aggression and violence would be their issue. So it's like, oh my God, they're just all mad and angry people, you know? On a few occasions, trouble had uh, people went out to the island and they were rejected by the screamers out there. And the, one fellow, I remember, was tied up and put into a shed in the morning. He was taken and dropped off at the pier the next day, tied up in ropes. Having an open door policy invited some very strange people. Now, people may think we were strange, but I assure you there's some very strange and dangerous people in this world. And um, we had one particular guy um, come and stay with us who um, just went berserk on several occasions. We had him taken off the island, we had him tied up, the police took him away. His mother paid for him to come out of prison for Christmas. He swam back to the island, I think, or he died, he stole a boat, came back, would hid, hide in the shed. The worst experience was he, at one point, I think all the children on the island were staying in this cottage, and he attacked two women with a crowbar. Now, people took the idea of self-expression to the extreme, where he thought he was just expressing himself. He just happened to nearly murder two of our women. We, we met him at the pier when he was taken to the shore and thrown up there at the pier. But he made no allegations of assault and we could do nothing with it, you see. We had to stand back from it. We'd be getting complaints from locals that had a lot of cattle on the island, uh, that the, there were a lot of children on the island and that they felt the children were neglected. I think it's very conventional and very stereotyped to say, oh, tut tut, you know, they bring up their children terribly bad. But I think in society generally, if you walked into anyone's house, you'd be able to pick holes in the way people bring up their children or the way they live or the way husband and wives treat each other. It's just that we had open doors and people were able to come through our doors and have a look. <laughs> The service is lined all in. The service license on the Algrave began in the Urha, a day of keep couple of rud, you know, on the ruddy of Schlie and Schlie of the other dialalish, the Lani Gabonusach. The health board decided to pick on us as a way of um, interfering with our children. Uh, one particular woman had her boy taken away and uh, spent years and years fighting to get him back. When our ash came with some two goals and um, um, her feeble in your hand, you know, I guess Sheila came and I see Hunter, so I guess you all right in the other goal, um, uh, you know, and I think I had more than seal, I guess, um, uh, the more chance that we're the new and you know, Hocker and Ruddy were different with Jara. We were a good target because we were generally weren't liked for living differently, and my mum was just not going to have it, and that would have been one of many reasons that she finally said that's it. She had three young daughters at the time and uh, really wasn't interested in being interfered with and wanted to bring up the children as she wanted to bring them up, as any parent would want to bring their children up the way they want to. Is Marul take a harder irritation on in Erin anyway? Swinging a v v and when happen a swing to a v a co co radica co rev load of shin. I just been just shachted the eggs and the in in Erin. Not a v a night co don't to so us co tachta. You know v a night er fad fui years ago and realtas again 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 aglish again again chorish idachish. I just been a dinisha a tacht 
a brisha gache and real, like brisha gache and convention of your kind. The kind of had gone before I realised the war gone, but I wasn't sorry the war gone. You know, took pressure from one out there. They left in dribs and drabs, you know. And then in the end, um, I'd say Rebecca was one of the last to leave the island. But really, took it. Feel so she's to be on. I guess more than four say any handsome actor is then come in and say like that. More than more Hitler, you know. She shall part us in Larna Farisha, in Larna Fiantasa. She shall not to see her gulta in a rouse re of him hail. Ach, ta pubble in a coney and so. Agas ni pubble columbana can echare. Ach, grupa erenig, agas sassanig a gredfall and so. Agas ni lanacha if we smack, not if we kimmerka, ean kocht. Ni lan realtas columbana, ni lan smachta can so. Ta nacha if we grupa rev loidaha, adernaha. My mother did South American studies at university. Um, she had Spanish, because my dad's Spanish. I think initially it was, she had an idea of living with tribal people. And uh, we do live near tribal people now in South America. We've had a very different experience in South America where South Americans tend to don't get paranoid. They come and just ask you, you know, who lives with who and who's, who's husband and you know, what do you all do? And, we're not considered strange or weird or a threat in South America. Whereas here, trying to live like we lived was a threat and people didn't like it. Nor vi amerne skandinavisk Amerika has vi bochel avan gør hun kaur elet doen Tristan Murray abanem da kan vi has to go in a blossom and sail lagus hugen bochel sha a mach gamacher magenchen agus er crew na mo am bochel kuhalache ag is doenem gør be ten bochel a rugach and sa er nilan and sa er tigeg and kendes and te haul and son. Well, I went into labour with Tristan in the afternoon. So I wanted all my friends there. And so there's actually, I think, 15 people at his birth. But I eventually had him at five o'clock in the morning. On the 22nd of April, 1982. And there was lots of other people living with us also had small children. So it was a big group of small kids around that time. And uh, yeah, a lot of time spent cooking and washing nappies and we didn't have washing machines or anything. We did everything the country way. We found a goni er Tristan Phila Herrera, Phila er an an fold duchish mar derfa. As we shall derech er ti Phila and so ge hernig derech her hal. Agus bin an oor a hun variche. Hanig na trail kog a han in a fark. Agus a varia der e agus a chara javier. The winner der an chounda derer mar higam. Go bonusach an scale of iawn na go rev siad go rev Tristan agus Xavier ag ínsean scale to gadina pala miletig ag sin an teifele ar an chogas seo. Ino, ni, ni lisig an, ni derh hyn ach rev eon iran na leis sin, mar ni ienna di se ach gyr dŵr dŵr ach gyr spíor iad agus eon ag gyr spíor iad go bonusach mar iachtu fi an dlí sin aon. It's kind of jungle law ta gais. I suppose I just feel upset because it could have been so different and um, that he really loved his life, you know, and all the, the war and conflict between me and his dad and my lifestyle, their lifestyle, um, 
I suppose I see it in a way as it really got in the way of Tristan's happiness and Tristan being able to be more content. And like any kid, he just wanted his mum and dad together. And um, I feel upset that I didn't provide for him, you know, what I would have wanted as a child. And that, um, I can't talk. The sort ashtach on rudder, gemiach on on boil on bogger chud the achra nagoni agest. I guess I dare hear how harnish a coo. You know, hear the shagoni gadi on the imel gadi on the night down sherach. I guess on urvan shin mar a dare for you know the ver on loan orha the ver on dragon orha. Um, I guess just barfragled. You know, boch an og, boch an simenta. The regret was that we weren't very close on my last visit when we saw each other and um, I just, it took me ages and even now still, but in the first couple of years, just the feeling of, he's gone. There's, there's just no way of being able to heal or reconnect. You know, when someone's gone, they've really gone. And um, I suppose one way I dealt with it was um, I had to really, Try and communicate with my mum especially and getting closer to my sister. Do the call me for Tristan, I guess care the hall ago. We threw him go a deuce. I guess I can I'm kinda dot me another comes to Mohin's Jenny and Ish. Got Haring she a clan, a chalach, but the anot contort up shin. I guess the way she tore on kinashin. Cart no me cart. I guess another Mohin she Kuntach, Fui, Nilis Am, Ne Flame and Rudjin, Jenny, I guess Nibolame Flame. Akparud Grana, a harder, you know, I guess Nilis Am Connasawarin Nero Shiak, look me in Dig, Naha. I guess Nilis Am Connasawarin Becky. I actually used work at the time to throw myself into work and I decided to help rebuild our boats that we've had for many, many years. And I lived in Baltimore, worked in a boatyard for about four years, and just had a very regular, steady, quite conventional um, life at the time to keep my feet on the ground, because um, I didn't know how I was going to react, really. And uh, I, I made some very good friends in Baltimore, and people were extremely supportive. and. Um, Friendship came from the people I never expected and uh, saved my life, really. Becky? Hello. Hi, Becky. Hello. Come on, come. How are you doing? You've come a long hey. way. Hey, yeah. Well, if you'd come a bit earlier, yeah. um, you know, about 10 years ago, we could have had a cup of tea, but... Uh, it's just wild to meet you. I met, I knew your mum. Yeah. Met all your sisters and now you. It's like the last contact with I had with you was your was your son was with Tristan. Really? Uh, yeah, we filmed like eight five years ago now, and uh, like he was he was a brilliant help to us out there. And your mom, but I sort of have there's been no touch, there's been no contact since then. So things have changed over there. Well, yeah, since losing Tristan, yeah. our lives have changed a lot, and what we do has changed quite a lot. You're still with Atlantis, are you? Oh yeah. But I've been living in Ireland sorting out stuff to do with our boats and stuff like that here. And uh, I was out last March. Out in Colombia? Yep. And so what about the, the primal screaming or the, the ecological, the environmental work? Are those both continuing? Well, therapy is always a part of our lives. Right. To sort out internal um, conflicts yeah, <laughs> between yeah, yeah, yeah. people. And uh, our environmental work always carries on. Mm -hmm. We want to integrate much more like different Indian groups who already have knowledge of different therapies mm -hmm. to mix that with also, I mean, Jenny often deals with helping people with grief because of the amount of deaths and tragedies in South America. People need help.
kinta ta equivalent on the mother le Atlantis. I mean, ta taven a door down kinta dar lumsa. Ach again, how can the smuinig er nor di jarafacha a yena dar gahar an eiran sna shachta di nor vien sochi shal lofa er fad agus hana dar stach le smuinta rada gachanua agus inish America has an upper echo lechta ta a yena vka. Higadur gan na garabian na drogi a hulgamid na san eirhar an chúis gavail an fhoirís vaistí a lot. I mean, sin rud radical. It's an obair ha yenavaca in nisha marikas. Darlumsa is sort obair na angle. 